Now, of course, as competitors, when we're going to fight, like, listen, when I have a fight, and you know, sometimes people piss me off and it gets a little different, but, you know, you believe what you say and, and this rivalry builds up and people talk about trash talk and, and, and people talk about, by the way, some fighters like to say, yeah, I don't like to engage in trash talk. I don't like to say this and that. At the end of the day, mate, we're going we're gonna to fight, okay? And trash talking, and I hate saying that term, trash talking, it sounds so stupid. I prefer just, you know, whatever. If you're talking shit, whatever, you're trying to insult your opponent. There's a strategy too that you're trying to get them to doubt themselves you know you're trying to get them to think this guy will beat me because if you believe that then you won't fight with the fullest of your ability so there's a tactic because at the end of the day you're going to step in there in a boxing fight people die people die regularly bloody i think it's 12 people a year on average die from boxing fights right. so they're going to try and do serious harm to one another so if you by using your mouth leading up to the fight can make them doubt themselves which affects their performance and therefore you know, limits your possibility of getting a serious injury and, of course, winning the fight, then why wouldn't you do that? It's all those tactics, the strategy, the psychology there. So all these people that completely dismiss it and say that we're stupid and immature and I'm a martial artist and I don't do that, well, then you're missing a trick, pal. You're missing a trick because psychology is one of the biggest aspects of martial arts.